Oh, okay, guys. So we have come to the last part of this uh, band zero solids. I am making this uh, video into different parts because of my editing tools. My editing system will be <laughs> just collapsed if I make it very long. That is why I am just making it into different fraction, and it will also help you to understand. Because in each and every part, I am just briefly reviewing what we have discussed in the last part. I hope you understand my <laughs> limitation. Anyways, so we got this kind of uh, form of the potential view of x versus alpha. We have just I have just redrawn it so that you can understand it more. So these are the two extreme values of cos k plus one minus one that sets the limit. Like what will be the allowed energy value and what will be the forbidden energy value. And you can see uh, this is the minimum. So that is it should be pi, then it should be sorry, it should be three pi. Okay na? Because at minus one it is pi by. So odd values of pi will be there. And as you can see, only this value is allowed. This and this. I'm just doing it again. So this is the allowed. This is forbidden. Then allowed. Again allowed. Then forbidden. So on. I hope you have understood allowed, forbidden, allowed, forbidden, allowed, and so on. So in this way, you got the concept of band. Now, depending on the value of p, this band width will vary. Now we are taking two cases, two extreme cases regarding the value of p. You know, this p has a special importance. It includes v naught into b, the barrier strength. So this will tell us many thing about the uh, system. So, if we take, let's say, the value of p, the first case we take p to be infinity. So, the only solution to this equation would be, if you consider p to be infinity, then the sine alpha a must be zero. This is the only solution available to it. And from this, we can write sine alpha a is equals to zero is equals. Therefore, alpha a is equals to plus minus n pi. And I think you know the solution. So alpha is equal to 10 pi. So what is the energy? We know the value of alpha. Put what twice m by h cut square. So e is equal to what will be the value? Alpha square h cut square by 2m. And the familiar equation we have got n square h cut n square pi square h cut square by 2m a square. Okay, alpha is equals to plus minus n pi by uh, alpha is equals to uh, plus minus n pi by a. So n square pi square h square by twice m square. This is the standard energy eigenvalue of particle in one dimensional box we have seen. So what is this? What does this energy show? The yeah, discrete energy. So when you consider the p value to be infinitely high, you get discrete energy. Instead of band, you get discrete line, and that that should be the case. Okay. Now, if you consider p tends to 0, then how this equation will be modified? This term will be 0. So, cos alpha a will become cos k. What does it say? Alpha a is equal to k. It means alpha is equal to k. If this thing equals uh, becomes equal, what you get? What is the energy expression become? Your energy expression become e is equal to h cut square k square by 2m. Simple. h cut square k square by 2m. What is this expression? This is the continuum case. This is the energy expression of a classical particle. In case of classical particle, you know the energy is continuous, quasi continuous, you can say. So, this is giving rise to continuous energies okay and this range of p p tends to infinity this value of p giving you discrete lines so we can explain this situation in with the help of a car we have shown this two extreme cases now there may be some values in between uh, 0 to infinity okay and you will understand after i draw the graph, you will clearly understand what is exactly the situation. So, I am just drawing, I am just removing this part for the time being. So, 
ओके चलो ये जो मूव हो ही गया तो उसको हो ही करते हैं वट वी आर प्लॉटिंग वी आर प्लॉटिंग द एनर्जी ई एंड वी आर प्लॉटिंग टू थिंग्स दिस इज स्पेशल कार ओके दिस दिस साइड इज जीरो दिस साइड इज ऑल्सो जीरो यू विल अंडरस्टैंड वेटी वेल just believe in me this is one on this side and on this side this side p by 4 pi here just opposite 4 pi by p so p tends to zero means we are going towards this region p tends to infinity means we are going towards this region as i told you when p tends to infinity get a line spectrum when we are going to p tends to 0 we are getting this continuous behavior now you see the things will look like this let me just draw it then i will explain okay this is the thing i have this is clearly visible to you what exactly happening so look at this picture carefully as you going towards p equals to 0 you are getting continuous energies like this continuous energies so these are the region which are allowed region and the in between these regions are forbidden region okay and as you go towards p tends to infinity you see it is becoming a line a line is no longer band and it is, we are approaching towards the quantum behavior and if you take any value between 0 and infinity you can take any you can draw any line and that then that will give you the region allowed region forbidden region allowed region forbidden region simple so in this way with the help of band theory of solids by using the chronic penny model block theorem we can get the idea of bands i hope you have understood this band theory of solids pretty well if you have any question query related to this band theory of solid you can let me know in the comment section and sorry for uploading it in multiple <laughs> parts uh anyways thank you thank you very much if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel don't forget to press the bell icon and see you guys in the next video with some other topic bye bye take care an academy is india's largest online teaching learning platform you can prepare for various competitive exams like csr net gate jest iit jam tfr especially if you are preparing for csr net physical science you can join me on an academy plus i cover all the nine units of csr net physical science syllabus my approach is especially i precisely give you the concept of the concerned topic then i discuss the relevant mathematical formula and do the analysis relevant problem based on the topic including previous year questions are discussed homework and assignments are also given This is my profile, and if you want to join my Anacademy Plus courses, you can enroll for this course. And if you are new to this Anacademy uh, platform, you can take Anacademy Plus subscription using our referral code Felix R, and Anacademy will give you 10% off. So take the Anacademy Plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal. Thank you.